what up doing a little barbecues day haven't done an update video for the garden so as i'm hacking some of this down i remembered i should have been recording some so behind me are just basically f the feed sunflower seeds from the feed that the chickens get they're all voluntary plants some of these reaching over 12 foot high with tons of flowers I uh, just cut cut a couple down over here and then I was remembering this is the stock of one I don't know if you could, where the hell's my hand at that's high up about five feet up on the stock there's my hand and these are volunteer plants let me turn this camera around I can't see nothing oh my god the glare Okay, show you guys this. These are volunteer sunflowers. There's, there's my hand. Nothing extra done to them, no fertilizers. And these stalks are mammoth. We'll see if I can make some straws out of some of these hollow, hollow tubes. See if we can make some natural straws, maybe. But yeah, these things are huge, 12 foot plus. And getting ready to hack them down and get more more sun back on my garden. The shade was really nice for the uh, patio though. Getting them this tall. The bees are loving it still. It's like you top it and it'll pop out new flowers. So And the chickens love it. You just let them lay on the ground for a day or two. They'll come and clean it up. So these are all volunteer plants. I didn't plant them. I just let them grow. I picked up, picked out tons of them just to get the taller ones. All right, I'll update a few more things. Still the barbecues day. There's the uh, sunflowers way over there. Showing off some more volunteer plants. Got these mammoth weeds coming in. I haven't been back in here on this side for a while. These weeds are freaking huge. Now these tomatoes I didn't plant either. Uh, as far as I can tell, they are pear tomatoes, maybe chocolate pear tomatoes. I am not sure, but it's chock full of them. Corn didn't do too well this year. Uh, we got a couple good stocks, nothing like your own fresh corn. Um, a ton of feed left. Might even try to make some mash with it and then try to do some alcohol. That would be the main goal. Some habaneros finally coming in. Got a couple yellow ones the other day. Try not to touch it too much. But yeah, there's the habaneros, two of them. Uh, three, they're kind of camouflaged. But you put this habanero under a black light and it is purple compared to tomato plants and other stuff. It really shines. Might have to show that off. Some old ass carrots in here. Some more peppers. I already started pulling my corn up so it's a jungle in there I can barely get through I'm gonna have to space it better next year and get a better walk through there's a coffee plant you gotta compare it to the beginning of the season so anyway there's the coffee plant with some problems this coffee plant I had taken some video of about a month ago, maybe. I don't know. Three weeks. And a lot of these leaves have been getting eaten up. I had these mushrooms pop up. Just need to see if these are some good mushrooms. So I don't know what's going on here. I can't find worms, but something's eating the heck out of these plants.
Yeah, I got my garden too close this year. This is one pepper plant. Too close. I actually had mushrooms growing down here. There's a little cap of it right there. Just because it was I started clearing it out. So next year I won't have a, an actual gap in between my plants. I, there was a gap there when they were babies, you know. Well, I pulled most of my corn out. Learned a lot from this year's garden. Still gonna probably go until November. -ish. Be getting tomatoes and peppers. So the peppers really go into the winter. This guy is pretty new though. He's about he's about a month old. Going on two months old maybe. He's the single sunflowers with the big huge jumbo sunflowers on there. All the other sunflowers I had out were volunteer seeds that were just from the feed for the chickens. And they have a whole bunch more flowers that just keep popping. If you cut them off, they'll put out more flowers. But the wasp have been spending a lot of time cleaning these sunflowers, so I started cutting them down. Those wasps are actually uh, doing a really awesome job over chemical sprays. Supposedly the corn, once they get uh, once they're chewed on by a caterpillar, they put off a pheromone and uh, the wasps come in and try to find the caterpillars. So once I heard that, I was like, why am I getting rid of my wasp? And then spraying my crops with, with chemicals. So try to use the, uh, nature to combat itself. Whew, get some shade. Barbecue's day. Brr, it's cold already. I keep doing little updates. Took out a lot of my sunflowers that were back in here. All my corn that was in here. Well, this is, there's all kinds of bugs out in this thing. Ooh, it's chilly. All right, showing a part of my yard that I haven't showed for gardening, but all these plants up here All these sunflowers that used to be up here are just the feed sunflowers. They're peck clean right now. All the birds eat them. The chickens love them. And they grow 12 foot tall fairly easily. I'll chop most of them down now. And this one right here is, uh, he's about, he's the same age as the one I'll show you in just a minute. So he's eight feet tall maybe. He's a good two feet over me. Okay, so seven feet tall. A couple ladybugs on this. This one looks really clean compared to the other one. That other one had all kinds of bugs on it. But this is those jumbo sunflowers. Doesn't even have a head on there. Let's see. I don't know what that saw, but anyway, there's that flower right back there. And I'll show you this other one. And here we are at the other sunflower, the mammoth jumbo. It's planted at the same time as the other one. But it's already flowered and 
and curled over and ready but it's eaten up by bugs quite a bit let me switch this around the cool thing is i'd like to see this once it dries i'm going to try to it's a perfect little sheep's hook on there like naturally bent so if, if it could make a cool little cane out of that it'd be cool a very lightweight stalk we'll see what happens but this one just full of bugs compared to that other plant that's up up front in my yard the bottom of all these leaves is just bugs galore Sorry, so something's hanging on there leaving their skeletal remains or I don't know. Oh, it smells good out here. This pepper plant has not produced the pepper yet. Now it's got these little worm things. It's like they look lit up until so I put the camera on. And it doesn't pop like it was. You can't even see these guys just hiding here. I don't know, do you guys see those on camera? These ones are sunburnt. That's just fine. Look at those hopping arrows coming in thick. Damn, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know my counting skills ain't good. I'll just stop right there. Oh, we got a couple bell peppers in here. One almost turning red. But something got after these bell pepper plants earlier. I never sprayed them and I was just hoping they'd overcome it. It's been a week since I've been over here to the bell pepper plant. Hopefully in the video I'll put them close together. This was the almost red pepper last Tuesday. Now it's completely red, almost completely red. It's a little green right there. I mean, I had a pepper right next to it that I already picked and gave away. There's one week's worth of time, but man, this, with this cold snap, it's it's really put a hurting on these. These leaves are all shriveled up, ready to mold, and they just got dew all over them right now, so. Need to really get the sun on them to dry them out. We got a heat spell coming, so hopefully things will turn around. I got so many flowers on here. There's a pepper. Yeah. Probably the last barbecue's day video. I got most of it edited. We'll see how this works. This is October 1st. So I've moved all my pepper plants that were in pots over in this area. I'm gonna to try to keep them going for as long as I can. A little bit of potatoes going still. This one I have wrapped up. The vine is just wrapped up and buried a couple times, so I'm kind of swirling one vine and just burying it as I go. And then this is the potatoes in a potato bag. I'm gonna probably harvest those today and then put them in my next video. I have to come up here and measure this. I always say how high something is. I'm like, I don't know how high that is. It's always deceiving. Okay, I just measured. It's 10 foot tall to the top of this flower. And it hasn't flowered yet. I don't know if you can even see it. 